Hi, it's Miss Deaton here. Are y'all ready to dance? I hope so. We're gonna do the jump dance. So um, we've done this before. Hopefully it's a review and hope you have fun. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Come on, let's go. Put your right leg to the side. Now jump. Put your left leg to the side. Now jump. Put your arms do a real tie. Now jump. Put your arms up real high. Now jump. Put your right leg to the side. Now jump. Put your left leg to the side. Now jump. Cross your arms do a real tie. Now jump. Put your arms up real high. Come on, now just roll to the front. Roll to the front. Roll to the front. Roll to the front. Now roll to the back. Roll to the back. Roll to the back. Roll to the back. Put your right hand out. Your left hand out. Flip the right hand. Now let's begin with the pancake. Do the pancake. Do the pancake. Do the pancake. Now do the roller blade. Do the roller blade. Do the roller blade. Do the roller blade. Let me see you snake with it. Just snake with it. Just snake with it. Just snake with it. Make your legs shake with it. Make them shake with it. Make them shake with it. Make them shake with it. Now just wave with it. Come on. Just wave with it. Come on. Just wave with it. Come on. Come on. Now let's go. Put your right leg to the side. Now jump. Put your left leg to the side. Now jump. Cross your arms. Do a real tie. Now jump. Put your arms up real high. Come on. Put your right leg to the side. Now jump. Put your left leg to the side. Now jump. Cross your arms. Do a real tie. Now jump. Put your arms up real high. One more time. Just roll to the front. Roll to the front. Roll to the front. Roll to the front. Now roll to the back. Roll to the back. Roll to the back. Roll to the back. Put your right hand out. Your left hand out. Flip the right hand. Now we begin with the pancake. Do the pancake. Do the pancake. Do the pancake. Now let me roll a blade. Do the roller blade. Do the roller blade. Do the roller blade. Now just shake with it. Just snake with it. Just snake with it. Just snake with it. Let your legs shake with it. Let them shake with it. Let them shake with it. Let them shake with it. Now just wave. Come on, wave. Come on, just wave. Come on, wave. Let's go. Put your right leg to the side. Now jump. Put your left leg to the side. Now jump. Cross your arms, do a real tie. Now jump. Put your arms up real high. Come on. Put your right leg to the side. Now jump. Put your left leg to the side. Now jump. Cross your arms, do a real tie. Now jump. Put your arms up real high. Now jump. Let's go. Another Zonda Flex production coming at you. <laughs> All right, good job. I hope you had fun. That is the jump dance. All right, guys, let's do some poison melody. So we did this a while back, so it should be kind of familiar, but let me just refresh your mind. So it's the one where you have one melody, and a melody is something you, it has um, a tone to it, and so it's something you sing, or are gonna be singing today, and I'm gonna give you a melody like, mi, re, do, and that's your poison melody. Poison's bad, so you don't wanna sing the poison melody. You can sing anything else I sing, but don't sing, me, re, do, or whatever the poison melody is. Okay? So your poison melody is so me, do. Okay? So can you sing that? So me, do. Very good. All right. You remember your hand signs we did a while ago? We have so right here, me, and do. So me do. All right, so that is your poison melody. Ready? You're gonna copy after me every time except when, whenever I do the poison melody, okay? So if you, whenever I do the poison melody, if you copy after me, I get a point, okay? If you don't copy after me, you get a point, okay? So you keep your tally marks as we go, okay? All right, let's do it. Do, re, mi. Mi, re, do. Mi, so, mi. So, mi, do. That's the poison melody, so you shouldn't have done that one. If you did it, put, give a point to me. If you didn't do it, give a point to yourself. Okay, let's keep going. Ready? Do, me, do. Me, so, me. So, me, me. Me, re, do. So, me, do. 
Okay, I hope you didn't do it. That was the poison melody. So if you didn't do it, good job. You get your point. If you did do it, give me a point. And just focus on that poison melody. Do you remember what it is? So me do. Get that in your head. So me do. All right. Let's do it again. Do me re. Me fa me. Me fa so. So fa me. Me re me. So me do. That's it. Don't do it. Put the point down, either for me, if you, did, if you did it for me, if you didn't do it for you. Okay, ready? Let's do another one. Do, re, mi. Mi, so, mi. Mi, so, fa. Fa, mi, fa. So me, me. So me, fa. So me, do. That was it. All right, put the point down. We'll do one more. Ready? Whoever has the most points after this one wins. Okay, let's do it. Do me so. So far me, me re do, me so me, so far me, so me so, so me do. That was it. All right, good job. So if you want, you can go play with somebody else and decide who's gonna be the leader first. And if you wanna play with multiple people, one person be the leader and then everybody else be the followers. And if anybody makes a noise after the poison melody, then you get a point, all right? So go play, have fun, and let's move on. Hey kiddos, we're going to be talking about dynamics today. So dynamics are the volume of music, okay? So if you're in the car and you're listening to music and you say, hey mom, turn up the volume, please. What does that mean? To make it louder, right? When you say, hey mom, can you turn down the volume? It's too loud, so you wanna make it softer, right? So that is dynamics. And in music, dynamics are symbols that tell you how loud or soft to play or sing. All right, so we have different symbols. This is one of them. What does that look like? An F, right? This is another one. What does that look like? Key. Then we have combinations of things. M, F, and M, P. And then if you put double them, P, P, and F. Yeah. And then we have these two, this one right here and this one right here. So they look the opposite, right? So all of those are dynamic markings and they tell you how loud or soft to play or sing. All right, can you say dynamics? Very good. All right, so in um, music, whenever you see this one, this stands for piano. And all of these are Italian words. Piano means soft. So if, if they want you to play soft or sing soft, you will see a, a P. If you see multiple P's, like this one, this means very soft. And it actually stands for pianissimo. So it's like piano, but two pianissimo. You add issimo to the end. Can you say pianissimo? Very good. All right, so we have piano, pianissimo. Say that with me. Piano, pianissimo. 
So this means soft and this means very soft. Okay, soft, very soft. Okay, so there's that. Now we have another letter, the F. This stands for forte. Can you say forte? And that means loud. Okay, what if you had two Fs? What do you think that means? Very loud. All right, so we have loud, forte, very loud, fortissimo. Can you say fortissimo? All right, forte, fortissimo. Say that with me. Forte, fortissimo. We have loud and very loud. So tell me which one of these is soft? Which one is soft? Does P mean soft or does F mean soft? If you guessed P, you're right. Piano means soft. All right, what about these two? Which one means very loud? Which one means very loud? Is it pianissimo or fortissimo? Pianissimo, fortissimo. Which one means very loud? All right, if you guessed fortissimo, you are correct. All right, then we have these, MP and MF. What do you think the M stands for? Mezzo, which means medium, okay? So if you had MP, that means medium soft, medium soft, okay? So mezzo piano, do you say mezzo piano? And then we have medium loud, which means, or which the real words are mezzo forte, mezzo forte. Okay, so we have mezzo piano, mezzo forte. All right, there we go. So we have levels, right? So it would go, if we put these in order, it would go like this. So if we put them in order, it would go like this. Piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte. Because that means soft, medium soft, medium loud, loud. All right, so those are those symbols. Then if they want you to gradually get louder or gradually get softer, not just immediately, if they want you to do it gradually, they'll show you symbols that look like this, okay? So this one, what do you think it means? Do you think it's telling you to get louder or to get softer? to get louder. Very good, because it's getting bigger. You start on the left and you go across and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So that means to get louder and louder and louder gradually, okay? And then this one is the opposite. You go from left to right and it's getting smaller. So what do you think that's telling you to do? Big to small, so loud to soft. Very good. So this is called a decrescendo, and this is called a crescendo. Increase, crescendo, increase, decrease, decrescendo. Crescendo, decrescendo. So get loud, then get soft. Okay? So now we're gonna do a new song and game, and it helps you practice your dynamics when you sing. Okay? So it's called Lucy Lockett. And it's a lot like hot and cold, the game hot and cold, where you're looking for something and they say you're getting hotter or you're getting colder, okay, based off where you are. So this game is just like that, except I call it loud and soft because whenever you get close to the object you're looking for, you sing louder. And then whenever they're getting far away from the object, you sing softer. So that tells them if they're getting close or far away. So while they're looking for the object, you're singing the song that I'm about to teach you. And if they get close to it, you sing louder. If they get far away from it, you sing softer. You don't tell them you're close to it, you just sing louder and you keep singing over and over and over until they find it, 
okay? Or till they run out of chances to find it. All right, so the song is called Lucy Locket, and it goes like this. Lucy Locket lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. That's how it goes, it's real short. So this is a very old song, and it's about a girl named Lucy Locket, and she lost her, her what? What did it say in the song? Lucy Locket lost her pocket. She lost her pocket. And we're not talking about a real pocket that's attached to you. Nowadays it's attached, but back in the day, a long time ago, what, what kind of clothes did women wear? They wore dresses and most of them didn't have pockets in them. So, in them, so whenever they went to the store, they would carry a little, it's called their pocket, it would carry like kind of like a little purse. It was like a little coin purse. Back, back in the day, they were small. Now they're huge. But that's what she's looking for. She's looking for her little purse that holds her, her money. And so that's the words, Lucy Locket lost her pocket. And then another girl named Kitty Fisher, she found it, okay? So Kitty Fisher found it. All right, so let's do those two parts. So repeat after me. Lucy Locket lost her pocket. Kitty Fisher found it. The next part says what was in it and then what it looked like. It goes, not a penny was there in it. Not a penny was there in it, meaning it was empty. Not even one cent was in it. So repeat after me. Not a penny was there in it. In the last part, it tells you what it looks like. Only ribbon round it. So it had a ribbon around it, right? So let's put those two parts together. So not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Okay, repeat after me. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. All right, very good. So. If you put each part together, there's four parts. The first one, who lost her what? Lucy Locket lost her pocket, then who found it? Kitty Fisher found it, Kitty Fisher. That's who found it. Then the fourth part, what was in it? Not a penny was there in it. The fourth part, only ribbon round it. Okay, so let's put that together. Lucy Locket lost her pocket. Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Okay? All right, so now let's sing it. You do the same melody the whole time. Listen. La, 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 la. Can you do that? It does that. Da, 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 da. Okay, so let's sing through it. Ready and go. Lucy Locket lost her pocket. Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it. Only ribbon round it. Very good. This time, we're going to pat and clap. So it's going to pat, clap, clap. Okay, so it goes. Lucy Locket lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Good? All right, so once you get that in your head, you just sing that over and over and over. So once you get to the end, you just go straight back to the beginning. Okay, so at the end it goes, only ribbon round it. Start back over. Lucy Locket lost her pocket. Okay, so you keep singing over and over until the person who's looking for it finds it, okay? So step one of the game is if you, you want to pick one person to be Lucy Lockett who's looking for her pocket. Lucy Lockett needs to go out of the room or go to the corner of the room, close their eyes, cover their ears, okay? So they can't see where you are or hear where you're walking. And then while they're doing that, 
you hide the pocket and you could use a bean bag, you could use a piece of yarn, you can use a little pillow. You wanna use something that can hide well. Okay, you can use a piece of paper even. You can use anything as the pocket. And you hide it somewhere in the room and then you go to a neutral place somewhere where it's, where, not where you're hit it, but somewhere else. And then say, ready. And then once you start singing this song, they're gonna start walking slowly around the room. If they get close to where you hid the pocket, you start singing louder, okay? If, if it's over here and they're walking towards it, you wanna start getting louder and louder and louder as they get close to it, okay? If they walk past it, you start getting soft again, all right? So um, that's what tells them where to go, okay? But if you're Lucy Lockie, you wanna walk slow and listen to the song, okay? You wanna listen to the loud and soft. You're not looking for the pocket, you're listening for the pocket, okay? Because you'll hear um, the singer sing the song. If you're Lucy Lockie, you're listening for the, the loudness and softness, the dynamics of the song, okay? So I hope you have fun with it. You can trade off who's Lucy Lockett and hide it for, for different people. You can do it in a group. Um, if you have a group in the room, you could hide it under somebody, like they're sitting on it. And then um, and if you think they have it, just tap them or something like that. But I hope you have fun with it. Use your dynamics and, um, and really practice your singing while you do it, okay? Don't just speak the song, sing the song, okay? All right, have fun. If you would like to, pause here and go play Lucy Lockett with someone in your household. Then, once you are done playing, continue with the lesson. All right, now that we have Lucy Lockett in our head, the song, how it goes, um, I wanna do a rhythm activity with it. So what I want you to do is to take, get a, find a blank sheet of paper and draw 16 squares on it, four rows each. So you're gonna do four boxes, four boxes, four boxes, four boxes, four squares. Okay, so four rows in each with each four squares in each. Okay, so you should have a total of 16 squares once you finish. All right, so go ahead and do that. If you need to pause, pause here while you get your paper and draw your boxes, and then we'll continue. All right, so we have our paper. Now we're gonna do kind of what we did a few weeks ago with Jingle Bells. We're gonna figure out, um, we're gonna figure out what notes go in the boxes. So what you're gonna do, we're gonna sing the song and I want you to tap your boxes as you sing the song, okay? Ready, let's sing the song. Sorry, the top left, ready, go. Lucy Lockie lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. You got it? Okay, now we're going to figure out how many notes go in each one. So we're gonna tap each box with the words. Okay, staying with the beat, we're staying with the beat, but you're gonna tap so if it goes like this, Lucy Lockett lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. So did you notice, now we're gonna do, what makes it easy, get a pen or a pencil, and we're going to tap each one with the words, and we're gonna see how many dots, ready? We're gonna see how many dots are in each box. So watch me. Lucy Lockett lost her pocket. Kitty Fisher found it. All right, so if you look close, you can see the dots. Ready? Let's look at it. So it's Lucy Lockett lost her pocket. Kitty Fisher found it. So what kind of note, do you remember? We have one with two and we have one with one. Remember those cards we used before, the rhythm cards? The ta and the toddy. So what kind of note would a ta or a toddy go in this box right here? How many dots are there? 
too, right? So what kind of note would go in there? A toddy, right? So let's draw our toddy. It looks like this. Okay, two circles colored in with two lines going up connected on top. Okay, that is your toddy. All right, so what would be next? How many dots do we have here? We have two, so let's draw another toddy in our second box. So you should have this. Can you figure out what the rest are, the last two boxes? You draw in what it is and we'll see if they match. Does it look like this? All right, we have all toddies. Lucy Lockett lost her pocket. There we go, now let's do the second line, ready? Kitty Fisher found it. So what goes on the first one? Watch the taps. Kitty Fisher found it. Can you figure out what it would be? Let's see. Fill in those next four boxes. If you need to pause it, you're welcome to. Does yours look like mine? Kitty Fisher found it. Good job. If not, fix it to look like mine. It's probably good to use a pencil. All right, so we have Lucy Lockett lost her puck. Kitty Fisher found it. Okay, let's do the second half. So it helps to do your taps. Your your taps on the on the boxes, and you see how many you have, and that's what kind of note you put in. Okay, so let, next part is not a penny was there in it. Okay. Not a penny was there in it. Only ribbon round it. So if you did your if you did your um dots, that's what you should have. Although that one dot didn't come out very well. That one didn't either. So do you have the same? All right, now draw in your notes on those last two lines, either toddy or ta. Okay, toddy or ta. Let's see if ours match at the end. All right, ready? Check yours when I put mine up. Does yours look like this? Toddy, 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 ta, ta. Does yours look like that? I hope so. Do you see a pattern on this page? Do you see a pattern? I do. Try to see, guess what pattern is on there. Do you notice that the top line looks just like what other line? Second, third, or fourth? What line does it also look like? Line three, right? We have all toddies. First and third row are exactly the same. And what else do you notice is the same? The second row is just like what row? The fourth row. So these two on top are exactly like these two on bottom. Isn't that neat? It's a pattern. Music is all patterns. It's pretty neat. 
Let's count our rhythm real quick. So I want you to sing the song and count the notes. So it's gonna go like this. Ta -di, ta -di, ta -di. Like that, okay? So the pitches of the song, the notes on the page. Ready, go. Ta -di, ta -di, ta -di, ta -di, ta -di, ta -di, ta 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 -di, ta -di, ta -di, ta -di, ta -di, ta -di, ta ta Very good. Now let's sing the real words and point to the notes. The real words of the song. Ready and go. Lucy Locket lost her pocket. Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it. Only ribbon round it. Very good. That is how you do the rhythm of a song. This is Lucy Locket. You can put Lucy Locket at the top. And um, you can take a picture of this and submit it as your student response. All right, good job, y'all. This is our rhythm. Good job, guys. Bye.